Hello everyone, this is Vincent Chen and we are from Compliance Gate. So, this is the first episode of our product compliance series. And in this series, we'll be mainly introducing about product regulations and standards in the United States and European Union. So Vincent, what are we going to talk about in the first episode? Well, for the first episode, we are going to talk about the e-cigarette uh, e products in the EU. Okay, so let's say that I'm an importer of e-cigarettes. What things should I be concerning about when I'm importing to the European Union? Well, first of all, you need to know if your products uh, belongs to e-cigarette categories or not. Mm -hmm. uh, I will give you some examples. Uh, for example, like the vaporizers, uh, like the e-pipes or the e-liquids. And let's say you are importers or manufacturers who want to import some e-cigarette product to the EU. So uh, there are some directives and regulations that you must know before uh, the importation. Mm -hmm. Well, there's one uh, tobacco products directives uh, mm -hmm. to regulating uh, the e-cigarette products. Uh, the goal of this directive is to protect the user uh, from you know s some safety issues, uh, f you know setting limits on the nicotine level, mm -hmm. and also ensuring the quality and uh, the safety aspects of the products. Okay, then can you tell us what parts or components of the e-cigarettes will be will be under this directive? Yes, the tobacco uh, products directive, uh, it focuses on two main components of the e-cigarettes. One is the e-liquid and the other one is the e-liquid tanks, so the containers of the e-liquids. Okay, so um, what requirements does the TPD have for the e-liquids or the e-liquid tanks? Well, for example, they provide the substances uh, limitation, uh, the labeling requirements, uh, the documentation requirements. Okay, and so what's next? What, what, what steps should I take if I want to actually import the product? Well, besides of the, uh, the limitation and the requirements of the products, you will also need to uh, register uh, using our dev platform. The platform is called EUCEG, and then uh, you will need to provide some information uh, before uh, importing your products to the EU. For example, like the product ingredient list, uh, like the technical data or the compliances uh, declaration. So you will need to submit those documents on their platform first. Oh, okay, I see. Mm, so other than uh, tobacco product directive, are there any regulations I should be concerning about? Yes, uh, besides the tobacco part, uh, you know, e-cigarette itself is an electronic device. Uh, so that means that you will still need to comply with the OHS, uh, the C marking, and uh, the LVD directive or EMC directive. And, uh, and sometimes they, they have the external charger for that, right? So you will need to make sure that uh, your charger is compliant uh, with the regulation as well. Oh, okay. Wow, that's, that's a lot of knowledge. Um, thank you for sharing with us today, Vincent. No problem. If you have uh, questions about the importation process, about e-cigarette products, uh, please click the link below, visit our website, and let us know if you have any questions. You can comment or you can click the contact us, you know, so we can see what we can help you. Thank you. I'll see you. We will see you in the next episode. Yeah, we will see you in the next episode. Bye.